in the most unique competition ever. The woman who has earned a place in the pageant tonight is... A group of ordinary women. It's gonna be a swan. Oh, I'm so excited. I never thought in a million years it would have happened to me. Will hand over their lives to a team of cosmetic and plastic surgeons. They have to be a little bit more dramatic to her face. They will be put through a brutal three-month makeover. Come on, Tanya. This process is not easy. All for the chance to become beauty queens. This along with the liposuction will give her a killer body. Each week, two contestants will be transformed. And I was just an easy target for kids to pick on. But only one will be judged beautiful enough to move on to the pageant. I am going to be in person. I just don't know how much more of this I can take. I told you you're going to depress. The swan transformation requires discipline. From this moment on, you got to eat properly. You have to think military. 24-7 commitment. Sacrifice. I would hate to see all the work you've done, and then butter makes you lose the pageant. And pain. I feel worse than I expected, and I need to lay down before I punch somebody in the face. They will be constantly evaluated. She could go into an emotional tailspin. I have to get out of here. I don't know what I'm doing. And they will do all this without ever seeing their reflection. Oh, my goodness. No mirrors. No mirrors. No mirrors. Until the final reveal. Oh, my God. I don't tell me I'm All in the quest to be crowned the swan. Good evening and welcome to the Swan. I'm Amanda Byram. Now, last week we saw our first two contestants vying for a spot in the most unique beauty pageant ever devised. Tonight, thanks to the best plastic surgeons in the country, Two more ordinary women are about to experience the most radical transformations ever attempted. But in the end, only one of our contestants will make it to the ultimate beauty pageant and have a chance to be crowned the swan. This is the most unique experience of our careers. Our goal is to transform average women into confident beauties. It's a brutal regimen over three months. Only some will make it. But all will be changed forever. Let's meet the first of our two contestants. Good evening, Dream Team. Now it's time to hear your strategy for the life transformation of Christy Garza from Fort Irwin, California. Let's go ahead and surprise Christy, shall we? You're gonna be a swan. Are you serious? No. 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 <laughs> oh my God, no, you're kidding. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I waited for that for so long. I wanted to be on the swan because I'm not happy with who I am <clears throat> on the outside. My parents got divorced when I was real young. I didn't see my dad for a long time. I felt abandoned by my father. And then when I was 16, I drove to where he worked. And I asked him, why did you hate me? Why don't you want to send me a card? You know, just one, a letter, something to let me know that you love me, that you care about me. And he showed me a box of letters and cards that had been returned. I found out later that my mom didn't want him there. If I do nothing else in my life, I will give my daughter everything I never had. When I joined the Army, I, th I think I did get that father figure that I always wanted, like, you know, the strong drill sergeants. I'm active duty in the Army, and my husband's active duty in the Marine Corps, and right now we're 200 miles apart, so it's kind of tough doing the single parent thing. Oh, yeah, it's been real tough just living apart, away from each other, and just coming on the weekends to see her. Pretty sure it's been tougher for her because she's also had to take care of Tegan and work at the same time. I think he's only used the word beautiful like maybe twice. Sometimes I don't want to go certain places. I don't have the clothes for that or I don't know how to dress or, you know, I don't know what to do with my hair. I can tell jokes. <laughs> I've been out 
I don't want to be the funny girl all the time. Chrissy doesn't want to be the funny girl. She wants to be the beauty queen. So where do we start with her? She needs to be feminized. Open up her eyes, take the fat out of her cheeks and her chin, get rid of that bump on her nose. Breast augmentation and liposuction really help to bring out her feminine side, make her feel more sexy. She is my dream swan in more ways than one because I can totally change her smile and take it from strong, masculine teeth and make her a beautiful, feminine smile. For somebody that's got out of shape that early, that young, it's going to entail a strict diet. You know, she's so funny and charming. She charms her way out of doing work a lot. Absolutely. And we're going to have to keep our, our eyes Absolutely. on her. Absolutely. Do you think she'll be ready for a pageant in three months? She yeah, will. Yes, definitely. Christy's swan plan will include several procedures. She'll have a nose job, fat transfer to her lips, a brow lift, a mid-face lift, CO2 laser treatment to her face, and several visits to the dermatologist. For her body, she'll have breast augmentation and liposuction in seven different areas. At the dentist, Christy will have zoom bleaching, a full set of Da Vinci veneers, extensive periodontal treatment, and cleaning. For her fitness transformation, Christy will be put on a 1,200 calorie a day diet and will spend over 120 hours in the gym, doing cardio and high repetition weight training. She will also undergo therapy and coaching to build self-esteem. Christy's competitor this evening is Christina Tyree, an office administrator from Rancho Cordova, California. on this one. Oh my god, anymore. Oh my god, really? Yeah, I'm on the show. <laughs> you know me. I have so many reasons why I want to do this. It's not just the outside that I want to change, but it's the inside too. Yes. I when I came from Ecuador to United States. My first job was cleaning offices. But there's nothing else I could do, because I didn't speak English. Three months after that, I got married to this very nice American boy. It was very hard to get pregnant. I had miscarriages. I found out I was pregnant. And at the beginning, I didn't want to get too excited about it, because I was, I was scared that it may happen again. But it didn't. After the birth of my son, my body was left with lots of stretch marks and very saggy skin that just hangs. I really like belly dancing. But I cannot imagine dancing for my husband because the way that I look, and uh, I just I wouldn't want him to see me this way. Her insecurities uh, that Christina has, how they affect our marriage in a negative way. We have talked about divorce before. The way that I feel about being intimate with my husband, it's just not a very good feeling. I just want to be not a completely new person, but I will be a better, a better Christina. Oh, Christina is so sweet. She talks about there being so many reasons that she wants to be on the Swan program, yet she always focuses on her belly. What else is going on up there? I hear mm -hmm. that she feels like she's almost living a life that's better than she deserves. And somehow, it's like anybody loving her almost rings false to her. She wants to be a belly dancer. She's got an abdomen that's a problem for belly dancing. If she wants to make it to the pageant, we need to do something about that stomach. A tummy tuck will completely fix that problem. You can hide the incision in her belly dance costume. Um, we would do a breast augmentation, really balance her body. In her face, of course, we do her nose, take the bump off, refine the tip. And then she needs some upper lip fullness. She's got a really nice full lower lip. Her teeth are very small. She has spaces between them. So her smile transformation is going to change her entire face. Christina's plan features several procedures starting with her face. She'll have a brow lift, an eye lift, a nose job, liposuction of her chin and cheeks, several visits to the dermatologist, collagen, and LASIK eye surgery. For Christina's body, she'll have a tummy tuck, breast augmentation, and liposuction of her thighs. Her dental procedures will include zoom bleaching, a full set of Da Vinci veneers, gum tissue recontouring, and cleaning. For her fitness transformation, Christina will be put on a 1,200 calorie a day diet and will spend over 120 hours in the gym doing cardio and high repetition weight training. 
And for her intimacy issues, she will undergo weekly therapy and coaching. You know, I think okay, she's okay. up for the task. Let's go. do it then. Coming up, the competition and the transformations begin. While Christy is making big plans. What size breast? I want D. Big D. Big D. Full oh. D. <laughs> Surgery leaves Christina wondering whether it was all worth it. I have to get out of here. I don't know what I'm doing. And later, the most dramatic reveals yet. The ladies see themselves for the first time in three months. <laughs> who will make it to the pageant? And who's going home? Coming up on The Swan. Both of our contestants are in desperate need of dental work. Christy's dental transformation is going to be a difficult job. She'll need at least 15 hours in the chair if she wants her smile to be ready for the pageant. You know, I just wanted to be like, bling, bling. I think so. I'm going to power bleach her teeth, sculpt her gum tissues, give her upper and lower veneers so she's ready for the pageant. Christina hasn't taken the best care of her teeth, but her dental transformation should be a little easier than Christy's. My teeth are all messed up. I just always smile with my eyes. <laughs> I'm going to power bleach her teeth, sculpt her gums, give her upper and lower veneers. Christina should really look incredible. She is going to be one of the most dramatic transformations, tooth-wise, at least. <laughs> 